Hi, I'm Grant Sizemore, Director of Invasive Species Programs for American Bird Conservancy. And today I have the privilege of speaking with Kaylee Chalkowski, PhD student at Auburn University. Kaylee and her colleagues recently published a really cool study uh, evaluating environmental contamination with the parasite Toxoplasma gondii. This parasite is excreted in the feces of cats and is a recognized health risk for people and animals. Can you start off by telling us a little bit about Toxoplasma gondii, kind of what it is and, and why it matters? Um, basically, T. gondii is a parasite of cats, um, and it has this complicated life cycle where the parasite is shed into the environment in cat feces in a life stage called oocysts, which you can kind of think of like eggs. Um, then it can in infect another intermediate host, which can be any bird or mammal, including humans. Um, then the intermediate hosts may become predated by a cat, in which case life cycle starts over. Can you give us an overview of the study and, and why it's so important? We've known for a while that oocysts are actually being found in like coastal waters, like estuaries and marine systems. Uh, previous work has indicated that oocysts are actually moving from land to sea by flow of overland water. Um, so think like heavy rainfall. So one, we were wondering, do we see more Tigani infections towards the coast? And two, do we see more Tigani infections in areas with greater rainfall? And of course, you know, the other kind of important aspect of our study is trying to find just areas where there might be greater risk for humans and wildlife, because in Hawaii, there's a lot of endangered species. There's like five endangered species of waterfowl that all live in lowland areas. Um, they all, there's a risk there for them to contract toxo. So you and your co-authors used feral chickens, which are widespread, I think should be noted, on Kauai, mm -hmm. uh, as indicators of the amount of Toxoplasma gondii in the environment. Um, and so what'd you find? People are just kind of confused when I say feral free roaming chickens, but they really are like everywhere on Kauai. <laughs> the fact that they're everywhere made them a really great, you know, canary in the coal mine. Uh, for testing this, where this parasite might be. So one of our hypotheses was supported that we, we actually did see a greater um, prevalence of infection in chickens of, of toxo towards the coast. And we didn't see the effect of rainfall, I think maybe just because Hawaii is, you know, there's so much rainfall even in the drier parts of Hawaii that it's, you know, not enough to see a difference. Um, but I think the most kind of disturbing revelation of our study was that um, we found infected chickens in pretty much everywhere we sampled. And we sampled all around the island. You know, this was uh, wildlife refuges, um, community centers, public beach parks where people celebrate their kids' birthdays. <laughs> you know, it's it, pretty much everywhere um, in, in places that are you know, risky for humans to become infected and endangered wildlife too. We know that toxo can infect any warm-blooded species, all birds and mammals. Mm -hmm. um, and, and your study found widespread contamination uh, with toxo in the environment. Are there concerns for human health as well? One big issue with toxoplasma gondii is the risk of congenital toxoplasmosis which is where um, the infection is passed from the mother to the fetus and it can cause um, neurological birth defects in the fetus. It's important to know that the risk of becoming infected with this parasite isn't restricted just to your cat's litter box. You know, as we, sh as we demonstrated in our study, the parasite is pretty widespread across the landscape. How do your results compare to other studies in Hawaii? Uh, that's a good question. So from other studies in Hawaii, we, we have known that Toxo is around and not just on Kauai. Uh, so there have been a number of studies on Oahu, for example, indicating the presence of Toxo in the environment associated with cat colonies. Uh, studies in Nene have found Toxo infections on a number of other islands as well. These studies are alarming, but they didn't give us the bigger picture of where the parasite could be found across the greater landscape and where the greatest risks for Hawaiian geese and other endangered species might be. Uh, so our study filled in those gaps. This research emphasizes the need for responsible cat ownership and management in Hawaii to prevent human and wildlife health risks. And I wanna say thanks to all of you for joining in. I'm Grant Sizemore reminding you to please keep your cats indoors. It's better for cats, better for birds, and better for people.